M0FXP, welcome to my channel. So finally got, um, just turn it down, it's a bit loud in the background, but I'll let you hear it. Um, my jaw hat working, Pi Star. Just turning that down. So here's the settings in my channel. So it's just receive 439450, transmit 434450, and that's on all channels. You select the talk group that you want to, you know, transmit and receive to. So here I had to add Brandmeister Manager API key for it to start working because it just wouldn't work without it. It just stayed silent. So what you do is you go to API keys here. I've, I've already copied one here, but what you do is go to mobile, go to your call, your Brandmeister page, click profile settings. And then here it says API key. Okay. So what you do, click API key like so, and you can add one, click add. When you click add, uh, give it a name. So let's just say jewel hat two, hat two. Okay. And you go, okay. And it gives you this click copy. Yeah. And then go back to your hotspot. This is, the, I'll show you the configuration and go to admin. Yeah. Here. It's quite important because without this, it wouldn't work. Go to admin and then, well, I've already added it. Um, then you get an option to add an API key. Okay. So it's a shame that I can't show you how to do that. Let's have a look here. See, it says BM API here. So we went configuration expert BM API and look here you can copy and paste your key and then you apply it and once you've done that you've got your API key so that you can see now we've got um, a couple of TX's coming in now they're on separate time slots so the good thing is that we can actually it will send out two talk groups at the same time you have to have two DMR radios to listen to two at the same time but if only one's on at a time then it will queue and but you can you know they're on separate slots that's the reason it works because half the ch channel is being used so it's definitely working now so i just wanted to show you my configuration of the actual uh, pi star so at the top here mmdvm host and duplex ticked here you've got a reboot when you set that dmr just for now it's oled but i will put a note uh, a nextian screen on then you just select nextian here nextian there look when you do that so uh frequencies 439450 it says radio frequency receive and tx says 434450 but if you look at your dashboard it actually lists them the opposite if i'm right so four three. So if you look here, TX four three four four five zero. Go back to configuration. Uh, TX. Oh no, it is the same. Sorry, that's my mistake. Four three four four five zero. That's fine. So that's good. So go back to dashboard. Um, yeah. So you've got, make sure you've got this now. You need to configure Brandmeister if you're in the UK. Well, we do anyway. Call sign here. DMR number here. Frequencies are in. You only get two frequencies when you when you select this and then you need to select for a dual hat you need to select here it says mmdvm hs dual hat this and it has to be this one because there's a massive list but this is the one that works and go go down further and brandmeister here and then your password that you've already set in brandmeister on self care goes here this needs to be the same password that is in self care goes here and if it doesn't show it at first apply the changes it will show it so hopefully that's all the settings. DMR mode, OLED, frequencies, DMR number here above your frequency, hat selected. Apply all that, reboot, and then back onto dashboard. And that's it really, and it should start working. And like I said, it looks nicer with a color screen, so I'll, I'll do that later. But for now, hopefully this helps, and I um, hope you find this video interesting for your dual hat dmr radio 73 all the best please like and subscribe